What is up, my good people? My name is Pixel Love, and we are back again with another episode of Earthbound. In the last episode, we made it all the way here to the Mr. Saturn Valleys, and I'm just gonna say this right now: I just did a whole lot of bunch of sh a whole bunch of shebang, a whole lot of shiz in the um in the time between this episode and the last. Obviously, to those who like watch my other videos, I have been playing Cuphead. I, I would go so far as to say possibly maybe no life in it just a little bit. It's been working on the podcast and whatnot. And the thing is, is when I came back to play Earthbound, my save file was gone. Or actually, no. It was corrupted. For whatever God knows reasons, my save file just didn't save. And so I was all the way back to 3, and I hadn't even defeated the the 10. I hadn't even gotten the zombie paper, so I had to do all of that. I had to do all of that once again, just so I can, just so I can get back here and actually record the episode. So there may be a little things that are changed a bit. Also, not gonna lie, I've also just kind of been going around the Saturn Valley just because I feel like it would be an absolute nuisance for me to go through this during the episode because I can, I really have a hard time kind of reading what he's saying. So you do have we trade, we trade horn. No, not not that one. Base secret, base behind Grapefruit Falls, password I tell. Man, say say password and stand still. Wait three minutes. All right, that's what I wanted to show you guys. That's what I wanted to show you. Basically, this Saturn told us that we need to go behind it, the waterfall, which is right outside the valley, and we need to stay there for about three minutes so we could, uh, so we could supposedly fight Belch. Um, like I said, I already looked through the entire valley, so there's not really much of a point for me to stay here. Sorry to anyone who really wanted to see me go through Saturn Valley, but honestly, like, I was really kind of peeved off that my save file was just corrupted, and so I was just like, all right, you know what, I, I, I just can't, I just can't take this, I'm gonna just do everything here, right then and there, and then save. And then, lo and behold, we're here, and I'm recording. And before you know it, I'm gonna be editing, and before you know it, it's gonna, this is gonna appear in your sub box. And before you know it, then maybe this roach would finally die. God, I hate roaches. I remember I used to live in this, like, I used to live with my uncle, there, we, I slept in this room, and holy shit, was there so many roaches. They're so, and they weren't even small, they were big as fuck. And some of them could even fly, flying roaches, so. I ended up, I ended up buying a good few cans of Raid, not Raid Shadow Legends. Also, what the fuck, come on. Can we not, can we not miss today? It's late at night, I don't want to be yelling at my go at the goddamn kids just because they're, they're missing all their goddamn shots. Yeah, I ended up having to buy like a shit ton of raid, uh, raid, uh, roach spray. And what the fuck? Are you kidding me? I am not letting that slide whatsoever. But what I will say though is that as soon as I started using that that raid, that raid spray, they all just started dropping like flies. Not only was I obviously able to kill them quicker, but I saw less and less over time because I finally dealt with them. As much as I would say I miss being in that house, I really don't. Honestly. To anyone out there who actually knows me, it's like actually talked with me before, you'll understand why I don't like living, why I never liked living there. Also, I heard that these red ants are a pain to deal with, so I'm just gonna use PSI Rockin' right away. Hmm, maybe I should have not used PSI Rockin', seems a little bit overkill. 
Also, the more I think about it, maybe I should... Because supposedly, um, whatever your favorite thing is, is whatever Ness's PSI power is called. So because the default is Rocket, it's PSI Rocket. The more I think about it, the more I should have thought, hey, you know what? Fucking hell, I completely forgot it in. I didn't... I didn't get this, man. Fuck. The more I think about it, the more I regret not saying that my favorite thing was gaming. So that way I could have been like, alright, it's time to use some PSI gaming. Maybe once, once I start playing Mother 3, maybe if they ask me again if what's my favorite thing to do, then I'll just say gaming. So I can have PSI gaming. Anyways, from what I was told, I need to stay behind this waterfall for three whole minutes. And now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I probably should have gotten a mock pizza while I was at it. Oh well. I don't really have that many healing items, but to be fair, I I have a lot of other crap. And I really don't, don't have the time, nor do I have the necessity to get healing items. I just kind of take the hit and then blow it over. Anyways, I'm not going to sit here for three straight minutes and just talk to a never-ending gif of a waterfall, so I will be right back once they tell me to. Quick interjection to the folks back home who are trying to play this. As soon as it says, as soon as whatever dude says say the password, don't touch any fucking buttons. Just don't. Trust me on this one. Alright, so after three minutes, we're finally able to enter. Let's go. Oh man. This looks just like the. F this looks like just a factory from Earthbound Beginnings. Did you bring some fly honey? Master Belt is favorite, I do. Dude, even the music is just is just a better rendition of Earthbound Beginnings. Alright, I don't know. I don't know what these guys are gonna do, so a good old PSI Thunder wouldn't hurt. If it actually hit. What the fuck? Not gonna lie, I, I was I was thinking I like there is something that I kinda want to do like for a video idea. But I don't know if I'm able to pull it off. You see the thing is is I have a really hard time understanding what what like the actual story of Earthbound Beginnings was. And so I kinda want to do this thing in which like oh you're kidding me. You're actually kidding me. I kind of want to do this thing in which, like, I, well, how should I say this? I, I kind of want to do, like, this, like, fireside story kind of video where I'm just, like, I want to tell you guys a story. A story about a kid and his friends, like, saving the world and shit. That, I don't know why, but it, it just popped into my head one day and I was like, you know, I kind of really want to try. Like a video like that, it's just that uh, I don't know anything about video production, so I don't know how that would go out. But yeah, I kind of want to try, like I said, we're at Fireside Story kind of like video. I don't know, I just really like to tell, I, I just really like stories and like, I really want to tell one. So what the hell? Why didn't he get, why didn't he fuck off? If, but if it means... If it means that I have to figure out how to, if if it means that I have to replay Earthbound Beginnings again, it might take a lot more time than you one might imagine because that game takes, oh, lord. What is this? Ah, so honest. Smile doing. Tired. But so good, Ding. She 
Jeez. What are these guys say if I talk to them? Master Belch is the slimiest. However, I also heard he's. However, I heard he's also serving some Gigas guy. That I cannot believe. Yeah, the nerve of Gigas. It's hard to make the gross sounds that Mouch Master Belch does. I know I can't do it. Yeah, for the love of God, please don't do it. I also probably should have taken the liberty to say this, but I did manage to acquire a few items from Saturn Valley that I gave to Ness, Paula, and Jeff. So Paula and Jeff now have both now have the Great Charm, and Paula and Ness both have the Silver Bracelet. So we are armored up up the wazoo. So you're the ones who destroyed the zombies that I assigned a three. I wouldn't say I destroyed them. I mean, they kind of just did their own thing, you know. They did their own shtick. So don't don't put the blame all on me. Also, goddamn, it's like a truck. Should be more careful around here. Oh, well, I guess I just couldn't do anything there. Hmm, this looks like a really bad situation, so... Have you ever heard of my guys called, uh, PSI Rockin'? Because I'm about to rock your world. I'll just do this. I mean, come on, just... How, how cool would it have been if it just says... Uh, Ness used PSI gaming. Like, come on. <sighs> Not this again. What are the odds that I can hit him in this one go? Oh, uh, at least I killed him. No, I was gonna be very upset if I didn't if I did not kill him this turn. I would have turned back time. Anyways, what do we got here? A vital capsule. What does it do? It increases your vitality when taken. I don't know what my vitality does, so I'll just figure it out later. There's an HP sucker inside. What does that do? Items for Jeff sucks up some HP from a target creature. The more HP an enemy is get, the more you get can be used many times. Interesting. There you go, Jeff. Let's see here. It's a calorie stick. All right. Uh, I guess I can give it to Paula. After all, I don't really want to use my light life up right now. Got, I gave it to Nesta and I. <sighs> this is why we can't have nice things. This really is why we cannot have nice things. That's better. Also, to anyone who's gonna ask me if I feel sick or anything like that because, like, I'm talking in a really low voice, I'm not. It's just that it's really late at night and I don't really want to. Holy shit, that's a lot of zombies. I'm about to rock your world. Anyways, as I was saying, um, as I was saying, it's just really late at night, and I just don't want to bother. I just don't want to bother people, you know. Okay, maybe PSI rocking was just a little too much. I'll be the first to agree with that. I'm sorry, what? How is this man not dead? That's better. I can't believe I had to... I can't believe they sent four of these bozos over here. That's what we got here. It's an IQ capsule. <gasps> IQ capsule, you say? Oh fuck, that's right. 
Jeff's caring too much. Uh, can I just give it to Jeff right away? Use. Yeah, there you go. I need Jeff's IQ to go up as quickly as possible. Broken laser. Cool. I give. I kind of do give a lot of crap to Jeff. Not gonna lie. It's just that I don't know what kind of things I would want to give to Paula. Like, for example, why do I need to give Paula the bombs? Because I, kn I know that the bombs can technically be used by anyone. Whereas the ball rockets have to be used by Jeff. But like, why would, I, why would I use the bombs as Paula when I have my own PSI? See what I'm saying? Also, I need to search up what this vitality capsule does, so I will be right back. Alright, so supposedly what Vitality does is it has to do something with gaining more HP when you level up. And so, the only person who really needs that is Jeff, because all Jeff really has is his HP. And honestly, like, as much as I want to give it to like somebody like Ness or Paula, they don't need it because they have other means of attacking, they have other means of defense, whereas Jeff really doesn't have anything you know this one little room where it has like the magic butterfly it's really useful actually it's literally just a way for me to just go back in and just replenish my my uh psychic powers that i don't have also that is the amount of enemies in there is absolutely disgusting so i'm either gonna rock their world or I'm just gonna incinerate them. Whichever comes first. Well, it doesn't look like I'm incinerating them today. Guess I'm about to rock their world. That's never gonna get old. Ah, the sweet taste of victory. You guys aren't gonna make me and my team cry today. I've had it with your shite. Aren't you the fly honey delivery boy? What's the password? Doesn't mean I don't trust you, just say it. Say it now. Someone so quiet is either extremely shy or extremely dangerous. What a suspicious fellow! Dog. Really? Just because I didn't say anything because you kept talking, all of a sudden that makes me the suspicious fellow? And of course we're gonna be doing this. However, I will not miss. I will not miss. Guys, come on. He's right there. He's right there. <sighs> you know, I hate this game sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I don't know why I played it. Earthbound Beginnings is already a miss. Um, sometimes I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not starting this shit again. Also, wow, they came to me so quickly. Uh, fuck, man. I really don't want to be using this much PSI. Although, to be fair, I probably could have gone away with just using PSI Fire... Alpha, not beta. Guys, guys, what the hell? Ness, what are you doing? Attack! What are you doing, Ness? You're just supposed to be the main guy, my main man. Attack, damn it! Ugh, finally. I really do not want this to be a repeat of that stupid mini bar barf boss or whatnot. Anyways. If everything goes correctly, Belt should be right behind here, so... The jig is- oh my god! You look hideous! Jesus Christ, you look worse than I thought! So you are Ness. I see. There's a prophecy that a boy will destroy Master Gygus. You make me laugh so hard. If Master Gygus is scared of someone, 
He would have to be worse than the greatest evil. I'll take you down big time, so get ready for the worst fight of your life. Oh my fucking god, the amount of... It's actually... It, it's make, it is making me a little nauseous, I won't lie. Uh, let's see here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Can we do a quick PSI flash? Maybe a quick freeze onto Master Belich, and then let's see what Jeff can gather us in terms of info. Offense is 50, defense is 88. Open the hypnosis. That's great, actually, hearing that. Hypnosis, you say? Also, no reason for me not to use PSI Freeze because Thunder keeps missing every time when there's one enemy. And dude, I'm doing big damage, massive damage, huge damage. And doesn't that wake him up? Actually, no. PSI Rocket. PSI Rocket. Just go all the way. No reason why I need to show mercy to this fool. I didn't mean to use PSI Fire. I swear to god, I clicked on PSI Freeze. <laughs> why did I get PSI Fire? What the hell? Alright, well I'm not letting you get back up, so... PSI Freeze again. And we rinse and repeat. I'm starting to get a little concerned at how big his health pool is. Not gonna lie, because it is really starting to drain on what I have for my PSI. Like, I'm already down below the 20s, and he still doesn't seem to be dead yet, so... What the fuck? What's going on here, guys? Can we get a... Can we get a mic check? <laughs> He's literally have he literally has not done a single point of damage to me and I'm almost out of PSI. Uh this is bad. This is extremely bad. Just keep hitting him. Better yet, thunder. Can we get a massive thunder? Fuck. Paula! Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck. Okay. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I am very close to killing this guy. I have to be. Therefore, I am not going to take the chance to fucking lose because of one shithead who had bad breath. I'm just not. Today is not the day for that. Uh, hypnosis. I really have nothing else to do. Uh, pray. Let's just let's just do that. Uh, cool. I guess doesn't really help me at all, but I'll take it. Yeah, because I'm completely out of PSI now. So pray, damn it, pray. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? <laughs> I'm trying everything. <laughs> Fuck. For the love of God, Paula, please pray. Pray with all your fucking heart and give me some PSI. Dude, how is this thing still not dead? 
what the actual fuck am I looking at? How is he still not dead? Oh, fuck me, I guess. <sighs> Why has this stupid pile of barf not gotten on his fucking knees yet? I am genuinely, I am genuinely concerned. Can we please, for the love of God, kill this damn thing? Okay, come on, Paula. You gotta pray some more. Please, for the love of God. I don't need HP. I need psychic power. There's no fucking way I'm about to lose to this asshole. There's absolutely no shot. Come on! Why does he have such a large health pool? Come on, Paula. Do something, you fuck. I did not mean to attack Paula. I meant to attack Jeff. Oh my fucking god. Please don't tell me I'm gonna have to restart this bullshit again. Why am I hitting my entire... Hello? It just doesn't make any sense. You saw how much damage I was doing? And he just... Tr tr trucked through it all. This is beyond bullshit. How much health does this asshole have? Oh my god. All that I ask is that for him to be dead. Please let me kill Master Belch. Cool. No matter how much shit I actually threw at him, he has such a large health pool that I still managed to die. Great game design, by the way. Fucking amazing. I don't know what's worse. Watching, watching the Washington Justice win against the Vancouver Titans and what clearly should have been a win for the Titans. Or watching me lose to this piece of shit. What the actual fuck did I just witness? Are you kidding me? Okay, so apparently there's only so far back that I can go to with my time travel ability. Which means that if I die right here and right now, then I'm gonna have to start all over again. And if that happens, if I have to start all over again, I'm ending the episode. Like, I don't care. It's late at night for me. I should, I, I'm trying to fix my sleep schedule. And the fact that I still have yet to beat this one fuck. Just, it, it boggles my mind. How?
Okay, so priority one, just kill this slimy little pile because I don't want, I don't want more, more little piles of these little shits coming out of nowhere and spewing their stinky breath all over my, all, all over my fucking eyes. Also, I may be stupid for not thinking, hey, why couldn't I just use the jar of honey? Be like, be real for me, be real for a minute, like, who would have thought that? I'm just told to fight, that's all I know how to do. On the bright side, at least it looks like he isn't calling for help or anything like that doesn't look like he's gonna do any more da more damage more harm to me which is good because I really do not want to end the episode off on a really sour note but that's what I like to see so apparently if you don't give him the jar of honey he's quote unquote invincible which I find to be... What do you want me to say? Great game design? Like... It hurts my soul to even say that. What the hell was that? PSI Shield Zeta or something like that? Jesus Christ. Shut up. I don't want to hear more of you. It's in Foresight. Okay... Please fuck off. Shut up. I don't want to hear this anymore. Oh my god, he disgusts me. He actually disgusts me. I scared? I escaped? Oh, I thought he said I, I scared. I escaped. Zoom! Oh god. Oingri. Just, he's repeating the same things as Master Belch and I don't like it. You worn down? Uh, just, no, just please. What the hell, I'm back in the Saturn Valley? Go in a hot spring, wash off your body. Drink coffee before I go, say yes to me, say no to me, yes. Bottoms up. Oh. That's freaky. You've traveled very far from home. Okay. Do you remember how your long and winding journey began with someone pounding at your door? It was Pokey, the worst person in your neighborhood, who knocked on the door that fateful night. Oh, well, thank you, game. You acknowledged that Pokey was a little piece of shit. On your way, you have walked, thought, and fought. Yet through all of this, you have never lost your courage. You have grown steadily stronger, though you have experienced the pain of battle many times. You are no longer alone in your adventure. Paulo, who is steadfast, kind, and even pretty, is always at your side. Jeff is with you as well. Though he is timid, he came from a distant land to help you. Ness, as you certainly know by now, you are not a regular young man. You have an awesome destiny to fulfill. Dude, PSI Awesome? That would be sick. PSI Gaming or PSI Awesome? The journey from this point will be long. It will be more difficult than anything you have undergone to this point. Yet I know you will be alright. When good battles evil, which side do you believe wins? Do you have faith that good is triumphant? I don't know, I have I constantly have to turn back time just so I don't lose. One thing you must never lose is courage. If you believe in the goal you are striving for, 
You will be courageous. There are many difficult times ahead, but you must keep your sense of humor. Walk through the, walk through the tough situations and enjoy yourself. God, I wish I can, but life just throws me a shit ton of crap. When you have finished this cup of coffee, your next adventure will begin again. You must pass through a vast desert and proceed to the big city of Forside. Cool, I guess. At least I know where I'm going now. Ness. Paula. Jeff. I wish you luck. Okay, strange, mysterious person. Don't know who you are. Maybe if you could tell me who you are, maybe I would feel something. But right now, I feel nothing. My soul is pretty empty right now, I'm not gonna lie. And I still don't have my PSI. No. No, I, I clicked on no. I clicked on no. Don't you fucking dare put me back on this thing again. Let me turn back time, you stupid controller. Not there. Here. No. Alright. <sighs> Why can I not fast forward time? I can turn back time, but I can't fast forward it to skip this ass. I've had it. Jesus Christ is annoying. You told me to go in the hot springs, no? Can I not go there? Oh, I'm here. Longer ladder can go to hot springs. Cool. You gotta wash all the extremely dirty gunk off your body. Oh, come on! It's still nothing? Well, at the very least, I can just go down and. Whole Milky Way, what's this thing? I don't understand these guys' language. I, I understand that it's supposed to be like weird characters and shit like that, but even so, I can't fucking read it to save my life. Like I was talking about on the podcast the other day, I, I sometimes I do feel dyslexic, which I have a really hard time reading. Although, to be fair, it is probably because I just don't read. I, 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 I don't read. I bullshit a lot of the time. The only times where I do really read and like actually enjoy it is like the dialogue of a game. Like Earthbound. Except when it comes to people like Mr. Saturn. No. I'm sorry, but Mr. Saturn just ain't it. I I just can't fucking read what he's saying. Alright, whatever this thing is. Oh Lord, what is this? That's a lot of folks, and I am not taking, I'm not taking any shots. Dog, there's no shot, you gave me a mushroom even though I fucking did literally nothing. Can I rock y'all's world? Can we do that at least? Okay, he's dead. He's dead. It's dead. And they're all dead. Alright. Great, great, great. That's what I like to see. And I have the mushroom on my head. Just keep walking. Keep walking, that's because right now I have not felt any any sort of strange things coming out of that mushroom so far. I'm just gonna go right ahead. PSI fire bait them. Let's just kill them right away. They're still not dead. Why are they? Why are they still not dead? 
This is an issue. This is a problem. Guys, can I just please, like, just get my melody so I can end it off? I want to go to sleep. Yes, yes, I'm rocking their whole world. There should be dead. Finally. Get out of my way. I don't have the emotions to tell you to fuck right off. But just know deep down in my heart that you should fuck off. I just want the melody. That's all I want. The melody. Nothing more, nothing less. Please get out of my way. Like I said before, I just want the melody. Just want the said melody. God damn it, Ness. Why do you have to change your damn directions right now? You were doing so well that I didn't need to worry about what direction I'm going to. A coin of slumber. What does a coin of slumber do? Please tell me. Must create cooked as other. Increases your defense and luck. Uh, Increase defense, 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 defense. Who needs it more? Who needs it more? 51, 47. Jeff, my boy. Have you ever heard of this thing called the shite? He needs to have it on his. Damn, why didn't I just use the HP sucker? What am I doing? Give to Jeff. Anyways, as I was. Oh my. Who's calling me now? No, Dad. Please. Get off the phone. I'm working on something. Go away. Jeff, my boy, have you ever heard of the coin of slumber? I heard it increases your defense massively. Oh, for fuck's sakes. This is the third or sanctuary location, but it's mine. Take it from me there. Dog, how is Master Belch not it? Man, I... <laughs> I hate society. <laughs> have to go out just balls a blazing 54 88 long will the PSI fire that can be arranged I just really hope they don't lose everything that's not a good sign that's really not a good sign okay Ness I asked it I ask of you heal Paula Please, do not, do not heal the stink for whatever God knows reasons. I'm trying to kill it. Please don't kill. Uh, please don't heal. Okay. If I do this, and you hit one of my other teammates again, you will be sent to the gulag. 100%. Be sent to the gulag. had enough of bullshit today I gen can I I genuinely cannot be bothered right now okay again do not hit one of your teammates I don't care if you have a mushroom on your head I don't care if you have AIDS I don't care if you're dying of cancer do not hit your teammates That's what I like to see, baby. Oh my god, finally. Oh, fucking hell, I still have this damn thing on my head. My controls are still fucked. Hey, at least I don't have the mushroom anymore. Ness thought he heard his mother from a far away. 
She said, be a thoughtful, strong boy. This is Anson recorded the melody of the Milky Well. Thank you very much, Milky Well. Now that I finally got this third sanctuary done, I can finally go back to Saturn Valley peacefully. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be it for me today. Sorry if it seemed like I wasn't too excited, but like I said before, it's really late at night and I don't want to bother anyone, but hopefully you guys still enjoyed the video. So, my name is Pixel Love. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. A new podcast is coming out Wednesday, so don't forget to check that out. Anyways, Memento Mori and whatnot, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care, everybody.